it's the break of dawn. We're out for a bike ride. We're going for the uh, historic Besang Pass. Here with my buddies, had to drive out of Manila. Oh. It's gotta be fun. Morning. Yep, we are far from home. Okay, must be the old age. Ah, uh, I've been forgetful lately. I forgot my Garmin head unit. Oh, son of a gun! Luckily. Well, one, when you're using Strava, you can actually ask a friend to pull you into the ride. And, well, number two for today, luckily, I've got my Garmin uh, MK1, uh, just scuba diving watch, but also GPS tracker. So I'll just hope that the battery lasts as long. Oh, he's here! <laughs> anyway, I'll just hang on to their wheels and follow their lead. I won't have my uh, uh, climb pro to help on this climb. So I think that's the universe saying, just enjoy it, John. Just enjoy it. That awesome mountain range. Wow. That's where we're going. <laughs> Nico, how nice to see you. How nice to see you. <laughs> A long while. A long time ago, I rode up this uh, same pass. Then we met a young man who joined us, and that's Nico. <laughs> oh, there he is with team uniform. Iloko, so you made it. Congratulations. Congratulations. At that time, he was still trying to uh, make the team. And there he is. Wearing the jersey. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, bud. Training ba kayo today? Oh, pa siya lang, ha? to ride your bike. I tell you, it is, it is, it is. We're out biking with Ride Out Manila. My friend Bush, remember? I rode with him up this uh, Besang Pass before and then some. The place is beyond that. He's taking care of us today. He's a good man. Small group of friends. 
Not everybody from the same cycling club, but all good. We're regrouping here at this uh, hanging bridge. Apparently there's a resort back there. So cool. than it looks. <laughs> heading up there. This road will take us across the valley. So we'll be looking at that mountain range across us. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Alright. Okay, the young boy who's from here says not much recovery left up ahead. Okay, thanks for the warning. I'm bug, oh, be good. I'm bug, I'll be good. Okay, I asked the boys to teach me how to say it in the local dialect, how to say good morning. In Tagalog, it is uh, magandang umbaga. But here in the province, it's naimbag abigat. Naimbag is good, and uh, bigat is morning. And so, yes, it is a very naimbag abigat. Car back. Name bug. Oh, we got. The last time I was up here, the last time I was up here, I used my gravel bike. That is a gearing of 34 is the smallest chain ring. 30, no, sorry, 31 is the smallest chain ring, and 34 has the biggest one in the back. On my road bike, it's 34 in front and 32 in the back. So 
it's a difference of three in front, two in the back. That's a difference of five teeth. Boy, it's making a world of difference. Five teeth. It means a lot. Ask any dentist. Oh, son of a gun. I'm bug a big at. Wonder if I'm saying it right. Oh, you gotta work for this view. You gotta work for it. It doesn't come for free, but boy, is it worth it. Boy, is it worth it. Because my buddies, This is the best on the pass. As beautiful as it is a winding road on a bicycle, uh, it's difficult to drive this. I've been up this road in my car. You can't go pretty, you can't go fast. Really slow. If you take these turns at a certain speed, I think you'll end up car sick. And that's what happened to some friends before. The best way to take this road is slowly with gusto <laughs> okay. it's so naturally pretty it's like somebody sent a landscaper up here last five kilometers i'm told Boy, I'm really feeling the uh, difference in gearing. I can't keep up with these young bucks, so I'm dropping back. That's a nice photo.
in the most horrible dreaded moment in climbing is when you shift an easier gear thinking there is an easier gear and then you find out nothing happens that you were actually on the easier gear already on the easiest gear in that moment when you realize that oh that's a moment you realize you just gotta suck it up Cheers, bud. Of course. Never done this. No, no. Of course. Whatever he needs as an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I'll support him. Whatever excuse he needs. You can also blame the Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Come on, Harley. Nice one, buddy. Did you enjoy that? I loved it. Nice. On, nice. nice one. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. There, all the way. Harley. Well done, well done. Well done. How are you, Nico? Can I give you a sticker? I've made stickers yes, right You want our stickers. And these stickers are better. Forever young. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, I don't know about forever or young. Right here. I'll give it a run. I'll give your friends. <laughs> So dito kami, dito kami muna, unang nagkita ni Nico. Nagkakilala kami. Kami hirap na hirap siya ginagawa niyang hill repeat. <laughs> the Battle of Besan Pass in the Cordilleras was a historic battle where the Filipino guerrillas of Northern Luzon finally won against the Japanese Imperial Army that occupied the Philippines for almost four years. Upon the return of American forces in Lingayan Gulf, the Japanese Imperial Army had to retreat, and they retreated to the Cordilleras. The guerrillas of Northern Luzon and the U.S. Army had laid siege on Besang Pass, and after almost three months of sporadic fighting, the Besang Pass fell. This opened access to where the Yamashita forces were gathered. That battle led to the surrender in Baguio of General Tomoyuki Yamashita, commander of the Japanese army, on September 2, 1945. So this Besang Pass monument, this landmark, is actually 1,500 meters above sea level. So think about it standing on a beach and then looking up for a kilometer and a half high. That's where the monument is. Awesome climb. Now we're all done. We're heading back down. I'm not a very fast descender, so I'm going to let them go ahead. Uh, what a beautiful view. Bit of an effort to get up here. And after all that, I guess this is... Uh, well, we earned this descent too.
road is pretty going up and down. Okay, believe it or not, but descending is exhausting too. Really. Like, my hands are... Gah. Sorry, 20 kilometers para to the next climb. Carbach. Still some climbs to climb. I just want to go home. I think that was the last climb. I hope that was the last climb. We're going down from here. That's gonna be flat. I think. Some of the guys got really tired and had to ride the sag already. Uh, I'm very tired too. But I don't think we've gone much longer. I'll try to complete this. Ah, you enjoyed that. Almost home after the bridge. <laughs> You're amazing. First time. And we're home. We're back here. Oh, son of a gun. Well done, Sheena. 1,400 uh, meters gained. Uh, what did we do? Quite done. Ha ha ha. Okay, here we go. Two zero. He says best luck pass. Heart rate, I don't even know what I have on my screen. Okay, 102, 102 kilometers, 1,400, oh no, 1,900 meters gained today. What an awesome ride. That's always an epic adventure. Even if it was just part of, you know, uh, the other rides that we did. Um, no mechanicals, great views, good fun. It was awesome, and if you enjoyed the ride, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm gonna go and have a beer now. Cheers. We have some GGPN. Pucha ayo, pinag talaga. Ayo.